Have you ever experienced a feeling of complete hatred when you finally publish a video about a topic and then the second you hit publish, a lot more information about said topic just comes out? Well, that's kind of what I had when I published the whole Intel 10th gen video, only to notice that in the end, we've learned a lot more about the whole 10th gen release. But on the other hand, I have to question, did I even really miss anything interesting? Because just judging by what Intel has released, it looks like it's gonna be even more of a disappointment than we thought. So let's go over exactly why this launch is gonna be an absolute embarrassment for Intel, shall we? Firstly, they're now going on what is called 40 nanometer plus plus plus. The jokes weren't lying, they're going to just go on to the pluses forever. And seeing how in the recent statements, some of the key engineers at Intel said that they're still ages away from 7nm is just even more embarrassing for them. So you probably won't be getting any benefits of having a smaller node, there's lower power consumption and lower heat output. But does that really even matter? Like even against third gen Ryzen's, which are on 7nm, the Intel 9th gen CPUs were able to hold their ground in some workloads like in PC gaming because of the way higher IPCs. And that most likely will be the story again, especially since the higher end CPUs, like I said in my previous video, will be able to turbo pretty fast, up to 5.2 gigahertz on a single core, along with a whole bunch of other criteria which Intel has listed. We don't need like 10 different ways to measure your boost, like like we know you, you want to make your CPU sound like it can boost so fast, but when you have to have so many disclaimers about the specific conditions that that can happen in, it's just more sad than anything. Additionally, what is very confusing is that the 10th gen Comet Lake CPUs will not be using PCIe Gen 4, instead will still stick to PCIe Gen 3. Because for people who have some serious work to do, it essentially eliminates Intel as an option because of the many advantages that PCIe Gen 4 storage brings along. Even though other uses of PCIe Gen 4, such as in networking cards or in graphics cards, haven't become too prevalent yet, when they do, well, if you buy Intel, you're gonna miss out on all of that. Now again, that may not be important to many people, and seeing how these CPUs will still probably retain the giant advantage in gaming, at least that's gonna be one victory Intel will still be able to claim. That is until PCIe Gen 4 graphics cards will become more of a thing, and then they're gonna lose that to AMD, because people won't be able to run PCIe Gen 4 on their CPUs. So, congrats Intel, even your dearest gaming crown is being taken away soon. But what about on the lower end, you know, in, Intel has had some decent budget offering, like the 9100F for example, you know, let's see what they have here. Uh, after all, they're gonna have hyperthreading, right? Yeah, but even just looking at it, it looks like they're still gonna be completely outmatched by the new 3100 and 3300Xs from AMD. The new 3100 and 3300X from AMD will both have 60 megabytes of cache. How to even get close to that in the Intel lineup, you need to go all the way to the i7s. Now, yes, I know that AMD CPUs require a lot more cache, but because of that extra cache, they're also way more efficient. So it's a good indicator of how much exactly the performances will stack up. So I guess in summary then, Intel has made something that I never knew a company their size could accomplish, but they made a series of CPUs that look like, at least for now, that they'll only be at least somewhat competitive for a couple of months. Because remember, 4th gen Ryzen is going to be launching sometime soon, so most of our advantage is going to go as well. But we just have to wait and see, but I'm just more confused than anything. I thought that the amazing reception of 3rd gen Ryzen would be a wake-up call for Intel. They still seem to be so complicit, it's insane. So we just have to wait and see, but for now, yeah, if you're an Intel fanboy, let's just say that the other side is probably going to be waiting there for you with open arms. It's going to be standing there waiting for you to take the red pill. So let me know what you think of this whole launch down in the comments below. I definitely want to hear what you think of all of this. Also, if you want to talk to me or others more about this or anything else really, then enjoy my Discord, which is down in the video description below. Down there, you also find a link to my Patreon if you want to help support the channel monetarily. As even $1 a month goes a long way in helping me make way better videos and views on way more interesting topics. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, then subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in the next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.